All right, so based on some uh, feedback from Reddit, I figured I should try to see if I should install environmental visual effects for RSS. I'm a little scared that it might hurt my performance, but it should be pretty neat. So I think we're going to go and give it a try anyway. Hmm, well so far things look... Ooh, water is really pretty. That's Scannerer. Don't see... Any clouds though? I wonder if it... Well, I think I see... Yeah, that's kind of the city outline. Okay, so that worked, I guess. I wonder if... I wonder, do we have any clouds? <gasps> Holy crap, this is so nice! Wow! Why didn't I do this before? Oh my god! This is... Wow, this is some really, really pretty. I wonder if... Wow, let's see other planets. Oh my god. My, oh, the sun. Um, let's, let's do Venus. Let's do Venus. Cool. Let's do Saturn. Ooh, that, that would be nice. Um, Jupiter. Where's Saturn? Here's Saturn. Let's see, let's see. Okay, it's got a ton of moons. This is so nice. Whoa. Yeah, I definitely should have done this a long time ago. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. Let's look at the moon. Okay, there's Earth. Oh, the, the backside has lit up cities. A little bit. Nice. Uh, moon, moon, moon. There it is. Super pretty. Love it. Okay. Yeah, we're keeping this. Uh, obviously. And, yeah, let's, let's keep going. Okay. So, last thing I did was build a new rocket. Um, it's called Wabakoneta 1, um, which, if you would get that name, uh, is going to go to the moon. It's not going to land on the moon, but it's supposed to hit the moon. Uh, we have two contracts, one for, where are the contracts? There they are. Uh, one for performing a flyby. We want to be below 5,000 kilometers fairly close, but we want to be even closer and hit the moon. So I think I should be able to do it with this rocket. I haven't tested it thoroughly. I have tested that it has enough delta V to escape uh, Earth's sphere of influence, which means that it should definitely be able to go to the moon. And I think that's what we're going to do. I hope I have everything set up properly on this rocket. We're going to see. Okay, so remember when I said that I hope everything was going to be alright with this rocket? Well, it wasn't. Um, there were a few good things with this rocket, but I ran into a bug with, I think it's KCT, and it turns out that if you start... Okay, what I needed to do was upgrade the launch pad, and I also needed to upgrade the tracking center, and I also needed to upgrade the mission center because I needed the patched conics and I needed to be able to rendezvous with the target and I needed to be able to actually launch this rocket because it was too heavy and I knew that it was too heavy when I built it but it turns out that the, there's a bug with KCT that if you start building a rocket that's too heavy for your current launch pad and then you obviously wait for your launch pad to be ready because it takes, um, uh, it was about 200 days for me to, to get it ready. Uh, the rocket still won't launch. It will go on the launch pad, but it won't launch. It just kind of gets uh, rooted to the ground and nothing works. So I had to wait for upgrading the launch pad. And then I had to remake the rocket. And then I also had to wait for the tracking center and wait for the mission center. And by this time, I lost my contracts because they're timed and they have six months uh, for you to be able to do them. And obviously, that time ran out. I had to wait about a year for everything to get back. And uh, it was just a 
huge mess. So right now everything is set up and finally ready to go. So let's do it. Okay, the year is 1954 and we are going to do something amazing. We're going to go to the moon. We are, well, the plan is to go to the moon to get into orbit around the moon and then smash into it. That's going to be awesome. And before we can do that, we have to align ourselves with the moon, right? Because um, it's at an inclination. So we can't just kind of fire our engines and then hope for the best that we don't have that kind of, you know, we don't have that kind of delta V. So uh, there's a little trick for getting the right plane and it's lining up in the tracking center like this. And then you just need to warp and wait for you just need to warp and then wait for the ground station to pop up or rather almost pop up where is it where is Cape Canaveral there it is okay so we got a little bit a little bit more Let's align again okay just a little bit more we want it just a little bit before the horizon I think a little bit more. Okay. I think that's good. So, here's what we want to do. Let's launch. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I aligned myself before I rolled out. So, whew, man, when it gets dark, it gets dark here. Also, it gets underwater here? What? We're... Okay, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. The space center is literally underwater. That's that's not good. And that could really damage the rockets, you know? Okay, let's roll out. It's going to take a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, the space center is literally under the water. That's... Hmm... I wonder if it's really underwater or if it's kind of just pretend. Okay, let's try to align ourselves again. Man, when it gets dark, it gets dark. Wow, you can't see any of this. I can't even see any of this. All right, well, let's hope for the best, I guess. Yeah, so I had a couple contracts that expired and then I just took them again. And let's see what we want to do. Oh, we want to set the target. All right, the target is the moon. Perfect. Let's get uh, Mechjeb to tell us the rendezvous planner. Perfect. And our relative inclination is 16 degrees and rising? That's not good. Yeah, okay, so we definitely missed our chance. Uh, we want to get that down to, I think you can get it down to about 3 degrees. Okay, so I'll save you all the warping here, which is obviously very, very boring. I will tell you that I was able to get it down to less than 3, to about a 0.25, which is really amazing. 0 0.25, 0 0.26, okay, that's as low as we're going to go. Alright, so time to launch in what well, we have to. Okay, here we go. 3, 2, 1. Ignition. Blast off. And we're off. Alright, so I'm sorry that you can't see this rocket. It'll clear up in just a few seconds. I'm sorry. I think it's something to do with realism overhaul, making nights actually dark, which makes sense because we're not using any other lights. But there we go. Now you can see this rocket. It's super, super tall. It's got, I think, about five stages uh, overall. And the reason that this rocket actually looks a little bit crazy is because it's just so early in the game. It's only 1954. I've barely unlocked any of the advanced rockets. Oh, look at that sunrise. Love it. And um, so, yeah, I'm kind of dealing with these very, very low-tech uh, engines 
and staging systems so I can't do too much right got rid of that stage I also noticed that I have some graphic issues with some of the engines not having plumes um, you can see that I'm kind of checking to see if this engine is actually working it is uh, it just doesn't look like it so let's pretend it doesn't look like it's working because we're in space and there's a vacuum although that's not true it's just some sort of bug I think we can dump the stage, there we go, and light a vanguard engine, and right now what we're trying to do is get to orbit, right? We're going to be using the final stage to uh, just circularize this orbit, or I think uh, this stage is actually going to be enough to circularize the orbit. The last stage is a lunar transfer stage, and it's an AJ-10, um, the mid version, which is awesome because it can be restarted as many times as I want. Um, so let's see. Now, now we want to go to the moon. So we've got 0.39. I was kind of daydreaming a little bit at the end. And what we want to do is find the moon and hit it. Let's add a maneuver. Let's see if we can catch that moon. Perfect. That's what we're aiming for. Very, very low. Oh, this is great. Look at that. It's going to be awesome. Perfect. I want to get this even closer, which I'm pretty sure we can. Let's get this just a little bit closer. Fifty kilometers over the moon. Can we get closer? Let's get closer. I'm feeling like I want to touch this moon. Twenty-six. Let's do that. We need three thousand. Yikes, man, that's more than I thought. So I'm not sure we'll be able to get into orbit, but we're definitely going to get a super close encounter. Um, maybe I'll just skip on this a little bit. Nope, not a big change. Okay, so I want to get real close because I want to hit this moon. So at the very least, we're going to get a flyby, and then we're going to hit it. So we're going to get at least two contracts. I don't think we're going to be able to, to get into orbit, but we are going to hit this moon. So that's perfect. That's what we need. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to warp to the next uh, maneuver node, and we're going to engage um, I will say that at this point, I'm a little bit afraid that I won't have uh, an uplink to my spacecraft when I get to the moon. I have two omnidirectional antennas, and I hope they're good enough. I haven't actually tested this. Uh, you can't simulate being in lunar orbit until you actually get a flyby of the moon. So you're just going to kind of eyeball it and hope for the best. Great, and let's settle the fuel. I think it's already settled. Oh, okay. That was easy. So... Let's go. So I'm pretty sure I missed the the time that I was supposed to... Oh, yeah, I way, way underestimated. Yeah, so the burn time is... Well, the burn time that it says down here, three minutes, is definitely wrong because I only have two minutes in uh, you can see the Delta V stats only two more minutes of actual burn power so that's obviously wrong but I still underestimated when I was supposed to do this oh well and stop great let's use RCS to get us just a little bit closer so we have 519 meters per second left and we are going to get, well, we're already 900 kilometers from the moon, 700, 500, 300. This is so awesome. We are going to just scratch the surface of the moon at 25 kilometers above the surface. Perfect. Great time to save. 
All right. Now, hopefully, these antennas hold. And we'll have... I should have plenty of power. Oh, no, I don't have any more. <gasps> I'm going to run out of electricity. Oh, no. Can I can I hibernate? Please, 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 please. Something. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's running out so fast. If I disable it, will that make the power run slower? Please? Oh, jeez. Yes, yeah, so I definitely didn't bring enough power. This is awful. It's just awful. Maybe, oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, you know what? Since I don't have enough power, I think I should set it to just hit the moon. Yeah, and then even if I don't have power, it's two contracts complete. So, let's do that. Add maneuver. Just gonna slow it down a bit. No, speed it up a bit. Alright, let's just... Okay. Just align ourselves, and then... We are... Wait. Is this moon encounter... Oh, I'm already... Oh. Hmm. Looks like I'm scheduled to hit the moon. Let's make sure this happens. There we go. Okay. So this is going to impact the moon. Hopefully anyway. Alright. Let's see how long this thing lasts. And yeah, it turned out that it doesn't last very long at all. And I'm super bummed because I can't get the high altitude science data because this thing is already dead. I can't get the flyover contract because you also need to transmit science. So that's done. And at this point, I realized that I'm just going to hit the moon, get that contract and be done with it. Um, one more thing I did was... Uh, check to see how much delta V I would have technically needed if I wanted to get into orbit to see if I had enough on this rocket. It turns out that I did. So next time I'm definitely bringing some solar panels and we're definitely going to be able to do this properly. This is such a bummer that I can't collect and transmit the signs. We're going to get it next time. Next rocket is going to be a success. There we go. A couple more seconds. See the shadow. Goodbye, Earth. We'll miss you. Kaboom. Wait, what? Ah, <gasps> what the? The lunar impactor didn't work? Why didn't I get the contract? What? Okay, where's, oh my, <laughs> we're deep underwater again. Uh, so crazy. Okay, sounding rocket, uncrewed, sounding rocket. I didn't get the contract. That's insane. That's not fair. Wow, not cool at all. So yeah, overall this mission was an almost complete failure. I say almost because at least now I can simulate being in orbit around the moon. So I got that going for me, but aside from that I got zero out of three contracts, which is a huge bummer. But we learned from our mistakes, we're going to redesign this, and we're going to make it bigger and better and more awesome with solar panels. So, catch you in the next one.